Welcome to the channel, this is Tyra. So today is Tuesday the 2nd of February. It's been a month since I last posted a video. Um, we are in total lockdown here in Denmark again. We went into lockdown before December. Uh, or before Christmas in December and was supposed to only be in lockdown for during Christmas. Um, and they prolonged it with, uh, yeah, now two months. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we are all in the same boat here, right? Um, so that means that my children is at home, are at home most of the time. Uh, my son is in school because he's in a class for um, special need children. Um, he has autism, so so uh, he's. Um, He's not at home, but my daughter is at home uh, every day. So um, and so is my husband, and I am. I haven't been at work since yeah before Christmas. So it's 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 going on the sixth week now, and they've just prolonged it again to this twenty eighth of February. So yeah, <laughs> it's going to be three months or so before I come back to work. But that's just it. So no makeup, no wild preparations, no nothing. Um, I hope you can <laughs> forgive me. And uh, yeah, cheers. I have a cup of coffee. Uh, spiked with a bit of Baileys because it's uh, it's just <laughs> it's just needed right now. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I have been doing some stitching. Um, I uh, I joined the group uh, Full Coverage Fanatics and uh, joined the bingo. Just trying to keep up. And there's two challenges with, uh, with books. Um, I haven't got my pattern keeper in here. So it's in here. So I hope you can just uh, talk along. And I think I'm missing some pictures and so on. But it's an impromptu <laughs> video, so I hope uh, you can um, live with that and uh, I hopefully can do it better next time. But let's get into it. Um, I gave away the Satsuma Street um, chart, which I intended to start. <laughs> <laughs> I have it uh, fully kitted up, but I haven't started it because I saw the new uh, embroidery from uh, Modern Folk, the Sal uh, or Yearly Stitch Along, which uh, started in January. My hair is awful. Just can't get my hair, <laughs> the eyes away from it. That helps. Um, but uh, the Sal started in January. And um, it it has the the second part has just come out, um, so I instead of starting the um, I, I yeah I just didn't feel like it because everything just went into fully lockdown. I was like, oh, I'm not going to stitch Berlin when I'm never going to get that. <laughs> that was what the mood I was in, <laughs> but it's coming back. Um, but anyway. Um, so I started the, the Modern Folk Embroidery instead of, and um, it is charted, if I can find my phone at least. Um, I can just find you the picture of it. Um, let's see if I cannot find the picture. It's here. Um, the thing that I like with this one is that you can already see the fully uh, chart and what it's going to look like and i really really love this one it's like a long dog sampler it's not um intricate small details with hearts and this let's see if i can zoom in um this was the first no which um this was the first part of it and then we went over here and started on this part and it's it's turned around. I just got afraid because it's it's upside down. So I thought I started the wrong way, but I haven't. Um, but anyway, um, so this was the first part up here, and this is the next part. 
Um, I have had some issues with counting on this one. I don't know why, but I have to have had to, yeah, just do some rearranging and so on because I the flower basket I just couldn't get it to work. I decided to use it's charted for two colors. I decided to use a lot of colors and 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 chart it in the mood that I was in that month. Just take out the colors that I love to work with that I would like to work with. So mine is a bit different. So I am almost complete with January. This is my take on it. A bit more colorish. Started with a bit of gray because that was the weather, the first of January. Um, light blue, pinkish colors. I took two colors and blended them. Um, the bird for me is the promise of both the Me Too campaign and the promise of a new world <laughs> where we go back to normal. Uh, the fruit of plenty. And yeah, just flowers and a bit of Christmas colors and a bit of green, variegated. I hope you can see it. Um, some of it, uh, it's stitched on a 25 count, even weaved Lugana. I think it's in the color wave antique mocha, I think. Or just antique, I can't remember. I can find it if you want to. Um, so it's a bit variegated color. I love it. Um, so, love to work on it, but there's some mistake in it that I have to uh, correct. There's, there's a counting mistake down here. As you can see, if you put your eye on the triangle, it's, it's not really looking right. So there's something wrong, but I can just fix that. Uh, the, the count for the square is correct. <laughs> I've double checked. It's just me that couldn't count anything in it. So, but I love how it looks now and I, I'm going to enjoy it work on it. So uh, next time for February, it's going to be that square over there. Um, and uh, I'm just going to touch some more colors in it for February as well, uh, for the heart and so on. So I think my heart is going to be a dark 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 red um, so I'm just taking whatever I like and throwing new colors in, and I hopefully it would it will turn out really really beautiful in the end but this is not at all what it was charted only for two colors I just thought that no need some more colors need some more life in it so yeah um, then I worked on, I'm just looking what I have here. Uh, I mainly worked on the full coverage pieces this month, so my gamer came back and I have put in around 3,000 stitches on her. Uh, so I'm really, really happy with it. I think last time that I was only having done a bit of the heart these were starting to come in but not as clear as they are now and this month is really really coming down now and i've filled out a lot over here so um a lot of progress on her and i'm going to she's my focus piece so i hope to get really really a good amount in on her she's 101 125 count a giga rouge kit kit um and she is going to look gorgeous when she's done. Um, yeah, um, I'm still really loving to work on him, on her. And I, and I really didn't want to put her down because I was so happy with her. Um, she was just, yeah, she's just really, really a fun piece to work on. There's a lot of confetti in, um, in all of these areas and so on, but I really, really started now to, to do, um, just to work with one color and finish off that thread uh, as much as I can. Um, and if I go, I have stopped before, I really, really, I don't know if you can see that, but I really went a long way uh, and I've stopped that and just, um, 
only if I have 10 small uh, holes to go over, I will do that, but not more. Um, I think around a centimeter is uh, a long way from for now. And then I'm, I'm just ending the thread and starting it again. And I do that with the pin stitch and it it helps and it, and it, it sits perfectly and it doesn't take much more time. So with that, I have almost completed all of the threads. So I've got no more hanging down um, because I had a lot. So, so happy with her. Um, she's just a joy to work on. So definitely a piece I would recommend. Gecko Rouge is definitely something I would recommend. It's, it's beautiful to work on. It's just gorgeous. It's, uh, and the way they're turning out, the way they're charted and so on. I don't know. It's um, I, I'm also working on uh, on Heaven and Earth designs and so on, and I I, I just love the full kits that you get at Gecko Rouge. Uh, so uh, if you just want to try full kit where everything is kitted kitted up, a la um, Heaven and Earth, Gecko Rouge is definitely something I would recommend, and at a reasonable price. Um, I think this kit was around, with all of the frets and so on, was around a hundred dollars, um, which sounds like a lot of money, but it's just completed and it's it's already it's already it's ready to go and just take and and start stitching from day one. So it's uh, it comes with the fabric, it comes with the 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 kit fully kitted up. So yeah, it's perfect. If you want to do that, that one is really perfect. So yeah, so that was my other work in progress. Then I, I think I need to find you a picture for uh, my uh, heaven and earth design, which is also a focus piece that I've decided to focus on this month. Um, and perhaps I'm going to focus on it for the rest of the year as well. Um, I'm just looking. So if you, if you, oh, I just found Gamer. So here we have Gecko Roos Gamer, just for you to see. So here she is completed. And let's see if we can find, otherwise I can just find her. Um, If you hear some snoring, it's my dog on the floor. Let's see if I can find it. It's here. So this was my other piece that I am working on. Um, this is done on a, I think it's a 28 count, uh, two over one thread. So two threads used in the needle over one thread on the fabric. And it's a 10 stitch. So I have put around 3,000 half stitches into her as well. And I've come down to her head. Let's see if I can turn this up side the right way up. So I don't know if you can see this uh, at all, but her head is slowly coming in here. You can see the top of her nose. And then her hair is coming down here. So she's <clears throat> she's a gorgeous piece to work on. I was a bit concerned with the colors because she's really, really, really pink. I don't know if you can see that. But the more I work on her, I think the less concerned I get. Um, I think from a distance she's going to turn out beautiful. She's done the CXC frets, that's why. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just going to pee, take some coffee before I die. Mm. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like slurring. Mm. So, yeah. But um, I think as more, more and more that I look at her, I think that she's going to look okay. 
And as you can see, you, you need to see her from a distance and then the, the colors comes in. So it, it's a really, it's really, really confetti heavy up here. And uh, yeah, and as you can see, I've got some strings hanging down, but not too many. I'm trying to complete as much as I can, but I think this one is just running down words. And I'm always nervous to be miscounting. So, so yeah, <laughs> but you can see if you want to see it close. This is how it looks. It's, it's like I said, the CFC frets, and it's, I'm only using CF, CFC frets, frets for her because I don't think it's a good idea to mix the colors because some of it seems to me I have some really old DMC colors. And when I take the CFC and compare it to an old dye lot from, yeah, they're probably from the, from the 80s or something, they they fall into that category but with the new dialogues i don't know how why and what they've done but it's like the more the new dmc colors are more crisp they're more they're more bright these are more muted colors so i tend to just keep them together and hope and pray that it doesn't look completely weird when done but at the moment i think she's going to look gorgeous um I'm going to focus a bit more on the head area and see how it turns out and perhaps work on a bit of her hair and then just try to work out here because that's where I really really get a sense of how her head looks because I was really really nervous with it. Also because it's quite dark and it isn't the same dark uh, tone on her when you see the picture. But then again, I read multiple places that they do turn out a bit more um, dark than um, than average pay or than on the no normal mock-up. So for me, let's just work on it and trust the pro process, right? Process, right? So that's number three piece and then I can just show you my pain in the high knee. I, uh, this is my Disney Pinocchio piece and I have put in I think a hundred p uh, stitches on it uh, last month. I'm going to do more and more on it but there's a counting error in it. This is uh, my inherited piece, and now I know why she probably stopped that. Because up here, in this dress area here, which I've been taking up a bit, working on, I, I just saw that it doesn't add up. There's missing a stitch somewhere. So she's been working in here, all these here are perfect, but here you can see something she's been, yeah, she's been, she's been fudging something. So I need to fudge her, uh, the fairy, but it's probably going to be okay. I just need to, to take a stitch out or line of stitches <laughs> um, in a dress or something. It's going to look okay. I'm just going to say, okay, that's, that's the charm of it. And nobody is probably going to be uh, reminded that um, that this is a, 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 a stitch gone wrong. So I still have to work on his hat and there's a lot of back stitching which, uh, which I want to have done before I'm going to move down here and work on. Um, this is the only thing that I found, but look at that gorgeous piece. I hate this fabric. Um, I've decided I have other of these uh, kits and I've decided that I'm going to take out these fabrics because they are really really wonky and weird. Um, this is an 18 count and it's really 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 weird. Um, it's like the most weird fabric that I've ever <laughs> handled so I, uh, I don't like working on it. Um, so I think I'm going, just going to change them into a permine. 18 count or an even weave 36 count with uh, I was thinking about that because there's a lot of uh, half stitches and 
and um, quarter stitches and so on in them. So I think I think I'm going to if there if if it's the chart that says a 16 count, I think I'm going to take a 32 count even weave and uh, and work on that one with the next one because it's just not fun with all of these quarter stitches and in this really weird wonky thing um yeah so but i'm going to work on it and slowly it's probably going to come together in a couple of years or six and then i have that one done um yeah so still big work in progress i was like thinking oh i can do that within a year i don't think so because it's really really a heavy piece and you just you don't for me anyway i don't just um go ahead on it it's just not it's just one that i'm like oh where am i at on uh, on on the chart and so on so but yeah that's uh, this one then I did have a new start, um, and it was a start which came a bit out of the blue because when my daughter was little, um, I think around four years old, we got two guinea pigs which were her hers and they stood on her, in her room and so on for many years, and they died. They were siblings and they died. I think it's now four years ago. But she still remembers them and she's really really fun about them and um, then i saw this one and they are just like they're not almost the same but they're almost <laughs> there they did have these colors and uh yeah so they just reminded me of 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 them and i asked her if she wanted to have them and i was like even you can perhaps stitch them she's not going to stitch them that's for me but i we have a deal that when i've finished everything we're going to backstitch them together so i'm going to learn her, her how to backstitch them so i'm going to stitch them completely and then she's going to finish up up the back stitching which is a, a, there's not a much uh, back stitching there's some of their feet being back, back stitched and a bit on the nose and so on it's not much so i've been working on this on and off and uh, trying to complete two threads every day and so we've got we've got some feet <laughs> done and a bit of, of the fur but it's it's really funny with this one because i was like oh that's going to move fast but they don't do they it's just it just takes time uh, but this is how far I've, I've gotten um, so it's a bit more light than um, yeah it's just a bit more light but it's uh, it's um, it's cute and I'm really really I'm going to love it when it's done it's beautiful so yeah um, so as you can see i've been working down here on this so i still need to do all of this so it's going to be a year-long project um but hopefully a year's finished and then I, I we've decided that we're going to sew it into a pillow for her room for her to keep as a reminder of the two guinea pigs and she really likes that idea so <clears throat> So that said, um, that is all that I've been working on this month. Um, not much, but, but there's still a lot of stitches in them because I think if I count them together, I have done, um, I have done around 10,000 stitches. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's not impressive, but with everything going on and, and people being at home all the time. Me working full time, we've had um, at work, we just have uh, um, end, a year end of uh, and, and done everything with uh, accounting and um, 
projects being closed and projects being opened and new budgets and so on. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's been really busy. I think I've got 20 hours over time this, this month. So. so I'm still happy, really happy that I've uh, been stitching a bit. I had some plants um, which I just wanted to show you. Um, I bought this chart a long time ago and I really, really wanted to start it because I've just, yeah, I haven't started one of the gold collections yet. Love the picture and all of the kids and the dogs and yeah, um, and the prompt, um, the bingo prompt in, uh, in, um, full coverage just there was a, just some prompts which would have worked on them but i just never got, got around to them my focus was only on these two kits uh these two cover full coverage one and my um my mother and folk embroidery and the guinea pigs so <laughs> not that it isn't enough but i i think i'm trying to see if i can get them in and then i need to start on my um my uh, um, that's totally, totally gone. Well, probably not important. Um, yeah, and my 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 uh, mini cities. I would love to work on them, but I think I'm going to do that in March. This month, I think I'm just going to continue with uh, working on these full coverage pieces. I'm just enjoying those. Um, I have an urge to start to take my mirabilia in again in some sort of rotation as well. Mm. So let's just see. Um, not not much. I haven't had any haul this month. I'm just been boring, <laughs> but. Um, I've just been solely focusing on all of the things, and then I've been uh, been uh, been going to Casa Serena, and I'm going to all of these um, these sites, and and there's some really beautiful new things coming out. I think it's let's let it stitch. Um, just had some really really beautiful things come out. Um, where I was like, oh, I want to stitch that one. Uh, let me see if I can find the picture of it because I think I hit the picture. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And, and there was this one as well with all of the colors. It's just, oh, so many beautifuls coming out. Um, so I was like, um, uh, should I just buy them and stash them? But then my my cupboard is, is all of the the cross stitches is are coming out of the cupboard. I'm never ever going to finish what I already have. So I think what I've decided is I'm going to take money aside and then save up uh, for Mandela, one of Martinez Mandela, and I am. Still, I think that I'm going to, I don't know whether I'm going to buy buy the all of the things from uh, European Crustage or if I'm going to buy them here in Europe. There's some shipping costs as well, which also can run up if you buy something and import them from, uh, from, um, from um, America. You need to buy it to take into account that you're in the risk of getting a 25% VAT inclusive and then a handling fee. So whatever costs around, let's say $200 will be added around $50 on top of it. So sometimes it's as good to just find a store in Europe and, and just buy from there. But I'm, I think I'm, I, I need to sit my ass down and calculate <laughs> the cost. So yeah, and if you're wondering, she is a diamond painting, uh, one I did a long time ago. 
and she's uh, hanging here and she's still beautiful um, she's a I think she's a square piece so yeah and I'm still really really loving her crown <laughs> so so yeah but um, I think that's all for me this time I'm in a good mood I'm in a good spirit um, I think uh, corona tired I, that's what they say here in Denmark that we are just being corona tired and I think all of us are being corona tired and I don't think you should be so productive that's how I think oh I should be able to do so much because oh I'm always at home but it's like all of the energy is like whoa down here and it's just like you're not being productive I have have had evenings where I've just been couching and uh, sitting in the sofa like a potato and watching um, stupid series and eating too much candy and all of the corona kilos are coming on and yeah <laughs> it can be really 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 annoying so um, hopefully it's going to be brighter and lighter soon so we can get out and about and i think that's going to give me my energy back um but for now i am just going to focus a bit on these pieces and so on um, i think i'm trying to go go back to just recording once in a while so i can get some videos out because i'm really really sorry that i'm so bad at it at the moment um i'm loving all of the comments and i'm really loving all of you new subscribers and so on um it's just, uh, I think, and I think I'm not the only YouTuber or, yeah, just person at the moment, which are um, not really, um, that's normal. Everything is not as normal, right? And I think we're just a bit tired and it's so dark outside. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and... Uh, and to all of you new subscribers, hang, hang in. <laughs> I'm going to post some more. I'm normally really, really regular poster. So it's a bit annoying that, um, yeah, I just lost energy. And uh, hopefully we will see you soon in the next video. Take care and happy stitching and stay safe.